I'm Kath Price. I work for Shropshire Wildlife Trust here at the Boathouse in Ellesmere. The mere has been here since the end of the last ice age. Um, so the story all started about 18,000 years ago when in the middle of the Devensian cold spell, that's the last cold spell we had, this was actually the point at which two glaciers collided, one from North Wales and one from Cumbria direction. The ice that lay over this area was at least 300 metres thick, possibly as much as a thousand metres. You know, you could have hidden the Empire State Building in it. The glaciers went forwards and backwards, and as they did it, they accumulated an enormous amount of sand and gravel and silts. If you can imagine, you were pushing an enormous paving slab along the floor. You know how it would grind up all manner of dust and collect up pebbles and reduce everything under it to almost to a flower. So what's left when the glacier goes is an enormous deposit of pebbles, gravel, huge rocks sometimes, glacial erratics, they're enormous. Bits, of, bits and pieces of Snowdonia are here. If the depression is lined with a fairly impervious silt, you can get a trickle of incoming groundwater, but it doesn't all just go wash and leak out. So that's, that's a basic mere, if you like. So as the groundwater's coming in, it's bringing lots of lovely nutrients with it from the surrounding gravels and silts and things. And the water is really nutritious, eutrophic we call it, where there's a lot of available nutrients for the plants and small animals and the plankton and things like that. During the Ice Age, um, we had the, the, the mammoths that were down at, found down at Condover and appeared to have fallen into a kettle hole. There's another use for a kettle hole, really good mammoth trap. Um, they were quite small mammoths, so they, uh, they reckon they were quite late, probably about 12,000 years ago. Um, not, they were small because they were baby ones, but you know, they were small anyway. Um, at that time, we'd also have various sorts of lemmings here. Um, Norway lemming, particularly in these damper areas, would have, uh, would have, would have been more common. Um, they, large wild animals like bears, wild cats, these sort of things were around. Um, it's too late for the really exotic stuff like when we had lions here and hippos and things, but um, uh, wolves, elk, you know, lots of, lots of big game. But remember, it would have, I mean, right after the glaciation, it would have been wet. So everything, you know, things that like to live on dry land <laughs> wouldn't have been terribly common. Um, there doesn't, there's not a lot of evidence of early human occupation here. But that, that might just be because it was so very soggy and we haven't looked in the right places yet. Uh, there aren't any caves around here, this sort of thing, that would preserve that sort of evidence. 